So we have a new purchase. Uh, we bought, well, I bought three new John Deere's. One is a 82 Spitfire 340. One is a 79 uh, Trailfire 340. And one is a 1982 John Deere liquefier. The liquefier is in the roughest shape. It needs a new steering column. Uh, it's liquid cooled. First liquid cooled snowmobile we've ever owned. So kind of cool. Needs a suspension rack put back in it. Uh, this trail fire uh, has no engine. Other than that, it is in really nice shape. Uh, we might put our 440 uh, fire burst engine in it from the other trail fire. Thinking about it. Um, it's in really nice shape. And then this uh, Spitfire. Uh, the guy said he just was driving around two years ago. It has spark. I just testing that. Do a quick on camera. So there's spark. I'm just gonna we just pulled it out of the barn to start it up to see if it starts. The guy said it ran two years ago, so we'll test that. Um, and we'll let you know what happens. Okay, so I pulled this Spitfire out. It's actually a 1981, not an 82. Um, it, I pulled it out and put a little bit of gas in the car, but I noticed that the gas tank um, little seal, it's a uh, bit of a plunger thing that hooks onto the end that uh, connects to the gas line. Um, it's not on there, so I'm going to have to look around and see if I can pull one off of another sled or a gas tank or just something, make something up. It does run. I put a little bit of gas in the carb and it ran for about five seconds and put a little bit more in. It ran for another five, ten seconds. It revs up and it idles. Um, the track was spinning. Everything looks good. It sounded like it was running on both cylinders. It sounded good. Um, that was successful. So it's pretty much good in that sense. Um, it's going to cover the seat up. It's going to put a piece of plywood under it and then um, put a piece of vinyl on the seat and uh, screw it down seems like it's pretty good the hood's in good condition i have the windshield just need to attach that and then uh actually secure the hood hinges and it uh seems like it's going to be okay i've never had a air cooled uh snowmobile before ours have always been fan cooled and uh for fan forced air cooled so this will be interesting to see if it's going to be able to keep cool we're only going to drive it when it's cool enough out that's of course we don't want to drive it when it's too warm out um so this trail fire this 340 trail fire it's 79 we have uh the 440 engine that's currently in the 400 still haven't taken that out yet um thinking about checking that engine out possibly taking that cable out of the recoil and putting rope in it or finding a new recoil that i can just, that already has rope in it and putting it in here putting in this snowmobile this 340 everything looks identical to the 440 so i think it'll fit right in it's got a good track on it's got a rubber track actually it doesn't have those um steel cleats so it might prove to be to prove to last a little longer than the cleated uh track and this liquefier it just needs the new steering column and since the 79 is out of commission the other one the red red 79 it's out back, that 40, 44, 440 trail fire. Uh, the steering column looks like it may be similar or fit. So we might take the steering out of that and put it in there. And the guy had the suspension rack out of it. And don't know why, I forgot to ask. But uh, the track looks decent. Again, it's rubber track. It actually has the tachometer and speedometer and the uh, thermostat, or the uh, temperature gauge on the dash which it doesn't actually have a dash the dash was in 10 pieces so i may have to make up a little piece of wood to mount those on or something if they still work but since i have now three more snowmobiles i guess i should show the other ones i had before i bought these so over here as i've mentioned in a previous video this is my 1980 skidoo Bombardier Ski Do Citation 4500 with the 377 Rotax. And it's just a full start. It has a newer track on it. it. Looks like a track has been replaced at some point in time. Plastic gas tank. 
It uh, runs quite well. We drove it last year. Just needed a new ignition coil and a new spark plug. Well, there's two new spark plugs and uh, new gas lines, and it was good. Good to go. Part of the uh, front body, like the body pan, it um, had rusted through and someone patched it miserably. So I cut that patch out and just used some self-tapping screws to put in a piece of uh, galvanized steel. It looks, it looks a little shifty, but I don't really care. It's underneath anyway. It's not really noticeable, but who cares? It's got a good seat on it. And this is my favorite snowmobile that... I first saw Uncle Gigi. It's the first snowmobile that I purchased. I think it was three three years ago, three or four years ago. It was just three years ago. It's a 1982 John Deere Trailfire LX 440. And this thing is amazing. I love the snowmobile. It's got so much power. It just zooms. And it had, like, it looks like it had the oil injection pump and oil injection kit but it was removed by someone and i've just been running it on uh, mixed fuel but it runs great it um it's very powerful and i just love this snowmobile it was 500 bucks and the guy threw in the clutch for the 400 and the uh, drive shaft and drive cocks for the 400 and it was awesome great deal i love that snowmobile and uh the citation i got for 180 dollars <laughs> I was gonna bring it to the scrapyard and I was like, oh okay, I'll take a look at this thing. And sure enough, I was like, yeah, I'll get that. It's not a bad deal. So, yep, these two sleds here are two of two more of my collection. And to continue on, these three snowmobiles I first looked online and I thought, oh, maybe I'll just buy this trail fire. I thought it was in great shape. Just that. And when I saw the ad, I have a notification on my Facebook that alerts me when anything John Deere snowmobile related, trail fire, liquid fire, snow fire, uh, spit fire, or sport fire pops up. I'm first, I'm the first one to be alerted. And when these popped up, I jumped on that right away. And I was the first person to message. And the guy said, "Yeah, come on, check out, check them, check, check them out tomorrow." And I showed up, and he said, "Yeah, I want eight hundred and fifty dollars for all three. And I was sold." <laughs> Because uh, it was a good deal, in my opinion. <laughs> 850 bucks for these three things. Because you can't you can't buy parts for these things. Unless they're a ridiculous price. So I was pretty happy with that purchase. Um, so hopefully this winter we'll have this one running around. This Spitfire. See how it does. It's got a much skinnier skis. So that'll be a little tippy. Maybe I'll throw some wider skis on it eventually. But we'll just test it out, try it out. And I like that this one has a aluminum tunnel and a grab bar at the back. So that's pretty nice. And this trail fire also has a grab bar at the back, which is nice. And the liquefier does not. But uh, we'll figure them, some things out. And uh, I'm pretty happy with this purchase. Um, if anyone's interested in discussing uh, John Deere snowmobiles, um... Wanting information about people who have parts, or if you have parts you wish to sell, or a snowmobile you wish to sell, please contact me on my email. It's um, hoovercamaro at gmail.com, and we're in Haldeman County, Ontario, Canada, and thank you for watching.